Good day, viewers. All just messing around this FBS job. I finally bought the exact rock right pistons I need. This is one microfarad. I just tried it. I should have used a ballast for this as a test, just as a test. Sure enough, I didn't use a ballast, and this fit popped. Now I think this was actually um, this. I was following this schematic, and well, that's, apparently that's not correct because this one is the actual proper, actual proper um, original uh, Vladimir Mazzoli schematic. And I was just pinpointing where my wires were going. That looks like that's what's going on. And that MOSFET popped. This one is okay. This, this one is not. So we'll shut the soldering line off. So I must have stuffed it up all together with this schematic. This one must be wrong. The capacitors are going to, so the capacitor there is going to gates. And that one is on the drain, so turns out that one is uh, a completely different setup altogether. So I've got another two spare MOSFETs. Anyway. Oh, I can see why this bloody bulb was so cheap. It turns out these are uh, pins aren't like the old ones. These are just uh, moulded on and pressed on. Just they're actually just punched out of this uh, shell. Uh, with an older one, they're actually a, a proper pin that's actually pushed in and glued in and soldered in. An actually proper pin, solid pin. But the ones on these ones, it looks like they're just punched out. So very cheap. I just redneck bodged it up. I'm gonna hook it across that starter. Let's get it uh, strobing. Then we'll try and do a, a little arc in there for Wayne Greenbox to like. So he likes um, C arcs and light bulbs. Let's set this thing strobe. I'm gonna plug it in. One. Not working. There we go. Doesn't work. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I feel it was a test. This thing's actually died. It's already popped. All right, then let's put this across the MOT, make it go pop or even better. Put it in the microwave, see what happens. Yeah, well, we can put an arc inside that light bulb. Before I do that, I'll, yeah, I'll put this in the mot. Beware of some safety glasses there, eh? so it is. this. Yeah, these can go pop, so let's finish it off. Let's power on the MOT. Three, two, one. I think I swatted together now. Didn't get in the arc in there. Let it cool down a bit. Yeah, not doing much. Ah oh, well. Let's try the light bulb. Bug safety first. Finish off this halogen light bulb. Power on. Ah, oh, I needed more um, volts. The arc didn't last long at all. Power off. Unplug safety first. Let's try the NST. Ah, oh, from the base. Oh, well that's pants. Disappointing. I'm trying to make the gap bigger. There we go, we've got a knock in there. 
an NST arc and a light bulb, filling up the smoke. Get my glasses on. Interesting. Sort of incandescent. A smoky light bulb, a knock in there. outside in case that smoke is actually creating pressure. So I'm just gonna pop the bulb and pop outside. Neck insulator. Hopefully, this stops the spark and stops it from striking an arc. We're on arc in here, not out there. Let's see how well this uh, technique works. I just use a heap of hot snot to glue this plastic down and cut the uh, bayonet terminal contacts with it. I want arcs and light bulb. Hopefully, this insulator works. Yes, the insulator works. We'll have an arc and a light bulb again. Take the glasses off. Never had a crack. When I heard that crack, the last time I had the, had the arc on camera, I heard that crack, and that's where it actually melted through, and that uh, the heat from that cracked the glass, so that's lost all its vacuum now. There's no vacuum in there. That's not going to do anything interesting in the microwave now. There's part of the uh, sealing pip down there. That little pipe that it actually pulled a vacuum from and sealed it. Now it's just a little rattle. A baby's rattle. There you go, huh? Nice little souvenir. What I should do is fill it up completely with water, fill it up halfway with water and seal it and microwave it, but probably won't be as spectacular as a bottle explosion. There you go, they're both completely off. 
There we go. There's a little fuse there. That fuse broke off. Yeah, be careful. Lucky I didn't cut myself. Whew, you can smell that arc in there. It stinks. All right, let's microwave this, finish it off. It's not gonna short out and go bang. Let's just microwave it. Okay, there's our little fluorescent light starter in there. Let's uh, nuke it. from those little contacts in there. As you can see, yeah, they're stuck closed from the heat. Oh, that wasn't very interesting. That'll be enough for now, viewers. Thanks for watching.